Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a different type of video. Um, I'm not re really going to do anything beauty related. I just, um, I want to sit down in front of the camera and I just want to have a talk with you guys and kind of just spill my heart and let you guys know what's, what's went on, what's currently going on, and what's going to go on. Um, so, a lot of you guys may not even be interested in this video and I totally understand that, but if you are one of my subscribers who's watching this and you are genuinely concerned um, for my well-being, um, we have developed a friendship type relationship. Um, I would say most of you guys will probably be sitting down watching this video. Uh, so, um, all right. So here's what happened. I'm 34 years old and I've had a rough past. I mean. When I was 14, I met a guy on the internet and ended up running away and marrying this guy five years later because my dad forbid me to talk to him. He was a psychopath. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. He was a psychopath. Um, then I met another guy. And I'm not blaming this on my relationships. I just want to kind of give you a background. Um, who was a compulsive liar. Who swept me off my feet with the biggest bunch of bullshit. I've ever heard in my life and it turned out to be a total nightmare but I was there I was in that relationship I was fighting for the relationship but I was fighting by myself um, emotional abuse verbal abuse I've been through it um, now here I am for I have four children that in a nutshell is complete chaos if any of you guys have four children and if you don't have four or any more then you don't understand this even if you guys have three you don't understand how that fourth child what it does to your brain as a mother um, it's just it's very hard to handle four children I'm a stay-at-home mom I don't work a full-time job so things should be easy for me around here but since I had Luke <clears throat> I have developed anxiety I never had anxiety in the past growing up or that I remember anyway I know I was never diagnosed with it but since I've had Luke, I have gotten severe anxiety about the worst case of anxiety that any one human can in come encounter with. Um, I have panic attacks, often anxiety attacks, um, and the, the weirdest things trigger it. I mean, there may not be anything going on, and then just for some reason, it, it'll start, and I can't control it. Um, I've tried to control it by myself, and I was a big failure, so I did go. I've talked to my doctor, and for several months now... I have been on um, a couple medications to control my anxiety and my depression and they've been working great. They've been working fantastic and um, up until the last month I could feel like my anxiety being stronger than what it has been for the last few months with the medication. Um, I told my doctor that so she increased one of my meds just a little bit um, but I'm the type of person I like to be in control of the situation. That, that's the only way I feel like I can successfully run my household is if I'm in control of it. I have to be in control of the kids, in control of everything that's going on, or I, my brain gets so chaotic I can't do it. I literally, my head starts spinning and I just, I go bananas. And I don't like being this way, but it's just, it's who I am. And there's nothing really that I can do about it. I'm trying, I'm trying to fix it. but. So, for the past month, I've had a lot of things that have been really stressing me out. Um, and one thing I would like to just tell everybody, you know, as far as your friendships, relationships, life in general, don't hold anything in. Let it out. You know, communication, you've got to communicate. Don't hold things in because eventually you're going to have so much that your top is going to blow. And so I've also been seeing a counselor and she's been trying to help me and so one thing she's been telling me is to stop holding things in you know just talk about it to people you don't have to fight you don't have to scream just try to have a talk about it so I've been trying to work on that and sometimes you can't talk to people um, you know just different situations you know different outcomes so very very stressed and we we went to florida this past week as most of you guys know and it, it was okay we had a good time i guess um some things happened while in florida that i can never take back i wish i could um i had a nervous breakdown in florida um the first night we were there 
I hadn't had any sleep. I'd stayed up all night Thursday night filming my videos and getting them edited and uploaded for you guys, which I now learn that if I go on another vacation, there's just not going to be no videos for that week. Um, and, I mean, I apologize, but that's what I have to do for my well-being. So, I stayed up all night Thursday night. I only got four hours of sleep Friday night. I stayed up all day Saturday. I drove all night Saturday night to Florida. Now, I could have, you know, switched drivers, but I wanted to drive to Florida because by the time we left here, time we left Kentucky, I was already so stressed and my, like, so anxious that I needed to drive because that's what I like to do. It's like a release for me is to drive, you know, listen to music and sing and just drive. So that's what I asked to do. Can I please just drive because I feel very anxious and stressed. So I did and it didn't help. But I guess because I'd been up for so long now here we are at Sunday evening or yeah Sunday evening. Um, I was really tired and I was really irritable and I tried to I don't I just I don't know. I don't know, but I ended up I had a nervous breakdown in Orlando in the parking lot of the Hilton Park Soleil. I had a full-on mental breakdown and I needed to go to the hospital. I begged to go to the hospital. My mom was like, let's go. I'll take you to the hospital. And I wouldn't go in the end because I was afraid of what they would do to me. You know, I can't be put in the hospital. My kids would freak out. I can't be away from my children. And here we're in Florida. I don't want to be in a, in the hospital getting all kinds of tests ran while we're supposed to be on vacation. It's my son's birthday. So I chose not to go to the hospital and just try to deal with it as I could. So the remainder of the vacation for me wasn't, you know, very pleasant. Um, the weather was was not great in Orlando so the kids didn't really get to enjoy the vacation to their fullest but they had a good time and um, I mean I had a good time too but I don't know I feel like I feel like I messed something up um, being completely honest I feel like my blood pressure was so high that night that I did something I mean like a mini stroke I would even go as far as to say that and that might sound silly but I'm being 100% honest something I've I've messed something up I don't know what and it may be something you know temporary and a couple weeks from now I may be back to completely normal but my memory I don't have any memory right now and I will be talking to you and I'll lose complete train of thought I don't know what I'm saying I don't I just there's um, I'm just not right right now and I know that because this is my body this is my brain but I did go to my doctor yesterday and I went you know with the intentions of telling her look this is what happened and I don't know why this happened because, you know, there was nothing that should have caused this. But in the end, me keeping thoughts and stuff bottled up for so long, so many years, my, my top popped. You know, bad timing. We was in Florida, but I can't control the timing. And my top popped and there it all went. But um, she did increase my medicine again and I'm going to see a psychiatrist to talk about my anxiety and try to help win this battle with anxiety because unless you yourself deal with mental issues, mental health, then you don't fully understand it and I really learned that the hard way in Florida. Um, but everything is okay, you know, I'm alright, I'm, I'm fine, I'm alive, God blessed me to be here another day with my kids, and, and everything is going to work out alright, but I have come to the conclusion, because I've been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of sleeping, all I've wanted to do is sleep, um, and, you know, in my mind, I'm like, no, Jennifer, you can't do this, you cannot fall into this depression, but it, my body is like, watch me, does that, I mean, I don't know how else to say it, but doing youtube five days a week is a bit too much um and i knew it would be too much when i started and i was willing to take it on because i can do it because i'm one of those people that i'll do it you know if i think i want to can do it or i want to do it i'll do it or die so i have done it and i've enjoyed every minute of it believe me i've enjoyed every minute of it because when i get to come in here and sit down at my vanity it's like the world kind of goes away for that for that hour that i'm in here putting on my makeup playing with my makeup or making a video all my anxiety and all the stress of real life kind of goes away for that little bit. So that's why I love doing YouTube so much. It is my escape. My number one escape right now. Um, but thinking now, I've lost control of my household by doing YouTube five days a week. And I, my number one role is mommy, not Jim's Beauty on a Budget. My number one role is mommy 
and I've got to get that back under control. I got to get things, you know, back back in order around my house. My house is a mess. Um, I mean, it's not a complete disaster like I say it is, but it's not like not like I want it to be. Um, so I got to get my house back in order and get my kids on a routine. I got to get things, you know, back going, and then maybe one day we'll go back to five days a week YouTube. But for right now, I just think five days is a bit too much. Um, so I think, in reality, being realistic here, two to three. Two to three videos a week is what I'm going to be able to do. Um, my goal is going to be three a week. Sometimes it may only be two a week. Sometimes you may not even see a week a video from me that week. And if not, it's okay. It's, i got to tell myself, it is okay. Because if you are a true, loyal supporter of mine... You'll be here the following week when that video does come and you'll understand. And a lot of you, a lot of you have been messaging me when I don't post a video. You guys message me, are you alright? You didn't post a video today. What's going on? Is everything okay? And I really love you guys for that. I feel, you know, like I have this friendship with you guys and it's just, it's amazing feeling. It is. I, I really enjoy YouTube for that reason. And, but I just want to get on here today just kind of kind of tell y'all what's what's coming why there's not going to be five videos a week anymore um and i really don't know what videos that i want to do do i want to do a schedule i know a lot of you like therapeutic thursday monday morning makeup you know those are the two favorites you guys still want me to do that every week or do we just want to just whatever random video i want to post i want you guys to tell me because i'm putting this out there for your guys enjoyment i enjoy making it but i want you guys to enjoy watching it so I want you guys to let me know. You can post it in the comments. You can message me, call me, text me, whatever you want to do. Let me know what, what you kind of want to see. Where do you want my channel to go? Do we still want to do, like I said, the Monday morning makeup and whatever? Or do we just, just do whatever you want to do, Jennifer? You know, because I'm leaving that up to you guys. I, like I said, I just want to do what you guys want to watch. So, you guys think about that and you let me know. And you keep me and my family in your prayers. Um, without prayers, I don't think I would have got through Orlando, and I'm, I'm being dead serious. Um, I felt like I was backed into a corner, and there was really no way out, and that's when I literally screamed out for help from Jesus. I needed help from the Lord, and I honestly believe that He's the only one that brought me through that. It was a bad situation, but I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. We gotta figure out what that next video is gonna be, though, right? So... Let's get to communicating because we need to get a video up. Bye, guys.